this lecture i'm going to start new topic of the computer aided process synthesis so let's start chapter name is energy integrated distillation processes and topic is multiple effect distillation so to study the multiple effect distillation you should know what is the meaning of distillation in previous lectures and also in mass transfer operations we have studied what is the meaning of distillation process so distillation process is nothing but this is a one type of the separation technique in which we are separating liquid mixtures by using thermal energy so according to this driving force for the distillation is difference in volatility or in simple words i can say there should be difference in boiling point of the various liquid components then and then we can separate various liquid components by using distillation now in this lecture we are going to study multiple effect distillation process so you can see on the screen this is a definition for multiple effect distillation process what is the meaning of multiple effect distillation it means we are using here more than one effect more than one vessel or i can say more than one distillation column so you can see this is the figure for desalination plant so according to this figure we can see that multiple effect distillation med it is the low temperature thermal process and here we are obtaining fresh water from the sea water how we are obtaining you can see here we are obtaining by recovering the various vapor of the boiling sea water in the sequence of various vessels or i can say in the sequence of various effects that is nothing but distillation columns and here each effect each vessel is operating at the lower temperature and lower pressure than the previous so this is nothing but this is the figure for multiple effect distillation you can see here we are using here three effects so each effect for example third effect is acting as the lower temperature and lower pressure than the second effect and first effect so pressure is minimizes whenever we are increasing the effects so how this principle operates so you can see here so here in the first effect we are providing the sea water so you can see in the med plant the sea water entering the first effect is the spread on to the surface of the banks of the tubes means here various banks of the tubes are involved in the first effect or the vessel you can see here from those vessels from those tubes which are installed in the vessel from those tubes steam that is nothing but heating source is a flowing so according to this figure you can see on the screen in the med plant the sea water entering the first effect is spread on the surface of the bank of the tubes inside which steam is flowing so this is the figure we are we are using three effects and each effect there are large number of tubes are involved okay after that the steam that is nothing but heating source is flowing from those tubes so in the first effect we are providing external steam but third and second effect we are not providing external steam as the heating source so what we are going to to provide there we will see here now so you can see a portion of the sea water is evaporated of the surface means whatever the steam is coming into the contact with the sea water after that there is the vaporization and whatever the vapors are generating those vapors we are transferring to the next effect so here so so you can see here so you can see here so according to the according to this phenomena a portion of the water is evaporated of the surface and the rest of the water that is nothing but sea water is collected at the bottom section okay and the steam condenses that is nothing but fresh water we are collecting that condensed from the bottom section and whatever the bottom part that is whatever the bottom liquid that is the sea water remaining we are providing as the feed to the next effect okay so what you can see in this figure whatever the bottom part that green uh, whatever the blue part that is nothing but bottom water that is nothing but remaining part of the sea water that sea water is acting as the feed for the next effect okay in here heating source we are not using here heating source external steam but here we are using heating source that is nothing but a vapor generating in the previous effect so you can see here whatever the vapor generating by contacting this steam and this water whatever the vapor generating that vapor is acting as the heating source to the next effect similarly in second effect as well whatever the vapor generating that is acting as the steam or that is acting as the heating source to the third effect in this manner this flow sheet is continuous up to the 16 or 8 means whatever the requirement of our distillation columns so this efficiency of this separation process increases whenever we are increasing the number of effects so you can see and after that 
from the bottom section we are collecting here condensate that is nothing but fresh water so in this manner we can collect here various condensate that is the containing the fresh water after that you can see i told you what is the significance of the evaporated steam so you can see a uh, the evaporated hot water vapors acting as the heat source for the second effect it now flows into the banks of the tubes but in the first effect that the steam external steam is flowing but in the second and third effect we, uh, that is nothing but hot vapors coming from the previous effect that is flowing in the next effect now so it is now flow into the banks of the tubes on the second and third effect sea waters from the first effect is a pumped sea water from the first effect that is nothing but blue parts you can see in this first figure in the first effect the blue part is nothing but remaining sea water that is a pumped to the second effect as the feed okay and is spread over the tubes carrying the vapors from the first effect what we have seen in the first effect in the first effect we are using external steam and we are using external sea water but in the second effect we are using feed as the remaining part of the sea water in the first effect and here we are using heating source that is nothing but vapor coming from the first effect so this is the difference in the first effect vaporization and second effect vaporization and similarly we are collecting here condensate part from the bottom section that is containing fresh water so similarly you can see here further evaporation occurs on the tube surface while the rest of the sea water is collected at the bottom of the second effect at the same time the vapor condensate inside the tubes and is withdrawn as the fresh water from the second effect this principle this function happening in the every effect means from the every effect we are collecting the vapors that is nothing but hot vapor and we are transferring that hot vapor to the next effect means that is acting as the heat source for the next effect okay and whatever the remaining part of the water that is the sea water okay we are acting that feed water that sea water we are acting that sea water as the feed water to the next effect and here also we are from the bottom section we are collecting here condensate that is nothing but our requirement that is nothing but our fresh water we are collecting this condensate from the bottom section from the each effect so you can see here next point the vapor produced from the evaporation in the second effect is likewise rooted in the third effect where it is used to separate sea water from the second effect and here we can use 8 to 16 effect can be used to increase the efficiency of the separation so in this manner we can separate sea water okay and we are getting here fresh water and here best thing about this multiple effect distillation that we are using here heating source that is nothing but vapor hot vapor generating in the previous effect means here heating cost we are saving by minimizing the external steam after that here we are using whatever the remaining part of the sea water that is nothing but residual part of the sea water in the first effect we are acting that sea water in the next effect is the feed so in this way we can minimize our raw material that is nothing but sea water for the treatment and we are also minimizes your external heat that is nothing but heating source and we can use here the vapor generating from the previous effect as the heating source so you can just observe this figure here we are using multiple effects when you are we are using multiple effects each next effect means third effect is acting as the lower temperature and pressure than the second effect and the first effect so i can say here first effect is carrying the highest temperature and highest pressure as compared to the second and third effects so in this manner we can desalinate our the sea water and we can generate fresh water by using this desalinated plant so what we have seen in this lecture we have studied about the distillation process i told you in distillation process there are two section one is the rectifying and stripping section reboiler present in the stripping section and condenser is present in the rectifying section after that we can use multiple effects okay after that we can use multiple effects to save our energy so this is nothing but energy integration concept we are i told you what is the meaning of energy integration we are we are minimizing the energy requirement in a process industries so how we can reduce this energy in multiple effect distillation you can see here we are using heating source that is nothing but hot vapors generating in the previous effect means we are not using here fresh steam okay so we are just using here hot vapors that is generating in the previous effect as the heating source so in this manner we can use the energy requirement and we can save our overall cost of the multiple effect distillation column so in the next lecture i will explain you related to the feed splitting concept 
related to the so in the next so in the next lecture i will explain you related to the feed splitting concept that is a very important concept in multiple effect distillation so this is all about multiple effect distillation we will see next topic in the next lecture thank you very much